We deal with a lot of imposter syndrome, which I think is really driven by that fear mindset. But what kind of strategies do you use to guide either yourself or your clients to help get through that fear mindset? Because a lot of times we don't want to do things because we don't know what's on the other side. But how do you get people through or over that bridge? Yeah, it, a little bit depends on on what it is. But often it's what belief is holding you back from doing this right now? Right? And it always comes down to fear of being rejected. 99% of the things that come up, especially in marketing, because it's about putting yourself out there and especially as the face of your brand. It all comes down to fear of being rejected because we're tribal animals, right? I mean, we, we're, 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 we don't look like animals anymore, but we're still tribal animals. And, you know, it's deeply ingrained in our DNA that we need to fit in because if you don't fit in, you're going to be on the edge of the herd and, you know, whatever the predator of the day is, is going to get you. And so we have this deep need in our DNA to be accepted. Right. So one of the, the biggest struggle that I see for people is just that fear of not fitting in. And so I work with my clients a lot on that. And we get to a place of like, well, who told you that you're not going to fit in? Who told you that you can't stand up? Who told you that it's inappropriate for you to take up space? Right. And there's usually a parent or, you know, there's usually some something, some trauma attached to it or, or they were just born like that. I feel like I was just born feeling that way. Right, right. And and this is true of anything in our lives. We say, okay, where do I, where did I learn this? And then the second half of that is, am I choosing to continue to believe this? I, you have a choice if you are going to continue to believe that your mom could have told you every single day that you're, that you're blonde (laughs) and you're not. So you can choose to continue to believe it as an adult. (laughs) Like my mother's been, my mom said (laughs) for a long time, I can look in the mirror and go, I am not blonde. I can choose to believe it. Or I can say, you know what? My mom did the best she could. Right. And I'm going to choose to believe something else. And I'm going to choose to act differently. Even if I'm scared, I'm going to, I'm going to act as if, even if I'm scared and why, why do people act when they're scared? The reason people act when they're scared is because they have a mission and a vision and a purpose that's higher than them. Right. That's more important than their fear. And that's the other thing I try to get people to tap into is what is that bigger vision of the change you want to make in the world that only you can make, that only by standing up and taking up space can you manifest and let that be bigger than your fear. Let the service that you want to provide to the world be bigger than that fear. So you can say, okay, I'm super uncomfortable right now. I know that it's because my mom told me I was blonde and I'm actually a redhead, which I'm not. My hair is actually your color. But that's a whole other color that is. Yeah. Whatever color that is. (laughs) But, you know, I, I was told this. I'm choosing not to believe it. And I believe that I, I have service that I can give to the world and I'm, that is going to be my North star. So I'm going to be able to, I'm going to say to myself, I'm willing to do this even though I'm scared because I believe that I'm doing it for a higher purpose to help other people in a more meaningful way. Right. 